Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Foss Alptrum. Previously, we started Chapter 2, where we got lost in a garden and went through some weird mazes. So, I know I'll handle the uh, golem here. So, is this one if we revive it, it kills us? We have to, well, kill the golem first. So we have to write the Hebrew word, which is basically for deaf, on its face. Carving of a bird on a door. There was a lock on the door handle engraved with a head up, down, left, right. Still unable to open it. Up. Down. Left. Right. We'll come back to that. Priorities. Oh boy! Matches first. It's locked A. Oh, okay. Symbol was carved in the keyhole. Gretchen on the spearing wheel. Meows! Meph's one hell of a drug. Cat! You're back. The boy who cried wolf, the fox and the hens. The nutritional value of most animal blood is similar, as they all contain protein, zinc, iron, etc. They are all relatively easy to obtain, with the exception of deer blood. Hunters tend to target deer more rapidly, since deer blood is more valuable. The cat shivered at. Chocolate, chocolate. The protein content of pig blood is four times that of pork and eggs. Five times out of chicken egg whites, and three times out of beef. Pig blood is recommended for long-term prescription of those who have cardiovascular disease, and is suitable for the el elderly, children, and late-term pregnancies. I've never really heard about that, but I'll take your word for it. Russet empty bird cage. Bird catcher. See, 20th of July. My previous letter was marked return to sender. They were unable to find the recipient. It seems that my brother has already set out on his journey. What should I do? He never listens to a single word that I say. He's always been like this. It's been so long and I don't want him to worry about me. I also don't want him to travel all this way only to return empty-handed. After all, I can no longer go back with him. Matches. We have a birdcage. I'm not still quite sure if we've had everything we need, but we do have the cat back, so that's helpful. And we have a couple of puzzles on those doors. Something like left, right, and so on. We will follow up on those later. What? A pair of shoes. I did something. Okay, so let's try. Hopefully that's midnight. There's a puzzle here I think we can solve. Let's see, three, five, one, one, negative five, one, three, two. Uh, yeah, write these down. Okay, so we have that, and then we have this. Please write down the sums of these two. It seems... I'm wondering if there's some correlation to the plants we see here. The amount represented by each of these four coordinates. Don't quite ask how I figured out how to solve this. I semi Bruce Fort semi guess this puzzle out. I know it has to do something with the numbers of the flowers and their positions here. And I just kind of basically count the amount of flowers here. Like I think there's let's see one, two, three, four, it's five. There's six of like this one, for example. And the other one is like uh three. Number one's one, and number one is three of them. So, I, I kind of just brute forced it that way. 
I'm not sure that's how you're supposed to sell me it, but that's how I did it. Plant the seed, yeah. That vase. It was a small key that had been hidden beneath the pot, hidden out of sight. Small key. Water gates. This is good for the lower area. I believe. So we have to go back to the basement. All the way back. Uh, great fun. Follow our nose! To hell! Okay. So let's... Use a key in the water gates. Mechanisms seem to be able to move. Let's switch out three stages where to move the lever. So we moved it up. I believe up probably, like you see here, yeah, flooded that area completely. The road was flooded of water, best not to go in. So we don't want that. Maybe we want it later, but not now. So let's put it down. Most likely we were on middle. So now this is completely empty. We see there's a route between that. A little interesting. Now we can get this. Go get it, kitty. Nice. Still can't seem to get to that bird. Because now we have the left and right hand. And I could do something else here. Let's check out these doors again, because they all had individual puzzles to um, open them. So head up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Oh! Each bird is facing different directions. So... Up is two. I think, unless I'm missing one. Down is two, though. No, up is three, down is two. Up, down, left, right. And there's also a left and right. Two left. No, three left. Two right. That's why there was a bird on the door. Wow. You can actually brute force that by making an educated guess. If you want to theoretically, but it's easy enough puzzle once you realize the trick to it. A round cover sat on top of the dinner plate. It looked quite light, but it was unable to be moved. A picture of a hunter of a gun hung on the wall. And do wine glass at the table borrow it? A picture of a wolf hung on the wall. A picture of a fox hung on the wall. Let's just borrow all the wine glasses. The cat raised its head and meowed as if reminding Elizabeth to return it later. Okay. I don't know the purpose of these. But it might have to do with that blood protein puzzle. If that even was a puzzle. Uh, either way, we're done here for now. We'll be back later. See, dear diary, I cleaned the room today. There are not many furnishings, but the lighting is very ideal and the currents are my favorite red. I understand how people keep diaries in order to record or preserve their own lives. It is with the spirit that I continue to converse with this book, and not as if merely fulfilling part of a treatment. Everything is so safe and reassuring now, particularly when he gazes into my eyes. So few people are willing to do so. If only this moment could last forever, Margaret. Hi. 
with a whoosh, an eye catching suspiciously so, a patch of color jumped down from the green leaves. So you came to hang out. I'm sorry, but I'll be leafing soon. Conversation's a bit, a bit truncated. The black cat bristled its fur and leapt into the shrubs in the sign. What are you doing? It asked as it floated back and forth. It didn't seem to mind as its sleeves were dusting the floor. There was a young man here. I'm looking for him. Have you seen him? Elizabeth asked. Hmm, who? The one with the headache. I don't know anything. Why are you looking for him? You should chase him out instead. He barged in after breaking down the door. He's making such a mess and raising such a fuss. It's better if you stay away from him. Is that so? Elizabeth asked. But I have some things I want to ask him. What? Oh, he's not going to pay attention to you. No one's going to talk to you here. Except me. You can ask me anything. I'll give you an honest answer. Probably not. No, really. You've just never asked me a question. I suppose not. Alright then, um... Uh... What are you doing? Huh? Me? Uh-huh. Oh. The demon craned its neck around and shrugged, as if only discovering now that it was on a tree. Well, let me think. I've come from below, side and behind you before. But I've never come from the top. I suppose... Right? Man, you're on top of things. So I decide to give it a try. I see. The demon stopped here, leaving a loud silence in its wake, and suddenly laughed at the pride of accomplishing something great. Um, I should have known better. Elizabeth started walking away as she reflected upon herself. Wasn't that a bad thing in this bet? Eh? Are you leaving? It made no move to come down as it drawled out the last word. You could take a break. Even a nap would do, came the voice from behind her. She had no intention of stopping for even a second. Get on my tree! Get out of there! Okay, so let's go and check around the corner. Rodents here. I know what we gotta do. We gotta raise the water up high so we can cross. But then we can't cross down there anymore. So we gotta go all the way back all over again. Ugh. Okay, yeah, here we go. Here is the bananas. And they're all bundled up and ready to ship. Come down, bird! Put the bird catcher here. I rest the bird catcher with candy inside the cage. I'll leave and then I'll come back. Gotcha! There was only a silver key within the cage. Moon key. All right. Now we can go all the way back again. Oh, yeah. I go all the way back again. Oh, it's gonna be annoying. Over from the inside. Okay, so we have a little bit of a shortcut going here. I'm Mr. Mr. Meowsers. They used to be with us. Welcome to Moonside. Watching me. He's watching me. She's also watching me. Hi. Every stained glass window is watching me. Everyone's watching me. 
They traveled to the land of machines. There was a blue bird with brightly hued plumage, but the blue coloring fluttered away when the bird flapped its wings. Well, let's focus on the prize right now before we go exploring willy-nilly. Um, what are you? I know another door. It's gonna be another maze. Here comes the song again. Have you heard? It's gonna be based on how loud the noise is. Sounds quiet over here. Quiet over here, maybe? I'm not noticing a difference. It wasn't south. It was north. I'm, I'm not really hearing a difference in, like, sound volume. Do I just guess? Wow. Okay, up, left. Maybe down? Up. Left. Left. No. It's based on the sound. Each one tells you which direction. So this one's going up. Nope, I forgot. That's up. Giggles is left. Laughing is right. Giggles is left. Hard breathing's down. Okay, laughing is right. Breathing is up. Right. Down. Still down. Still down. The boofer fell into the floor. up. Is this a dream? Anything new here? Oh, that's real new. Empty paint cans. Taint dried paint. The paint cans. A can of gold color paint. It seems to be still usable. Dunk the key inside. Get dunked! Golden key. Now we can open that door that requires being golden. flower bread today. I spent as much time as possible in the greenhouse, because they say that plants calm and soothe the soul. Too many buds will negatively impact the overall health of the plant, so even though cut 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 cut, even the grass that grows in between the bricks must be cleared. Otherwise, if they cut spread, cut, 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 the red cosmos flowers will bloom in ten more months. Why must we wait ten more months? Ah, oh, forget. Weird. There are numerous strange looking little bugs flying around the flowers. Didn't really dare to touch them. Hey, my plant's growing.
One can be found on you. One is buried beneath his unsociable hand. One is buried beneath the red X. One is located in the hallway behind Mary Antoinette. With the door handles. Door of unknown opening method. A stone slab of indentation was embedded within the door. We need something. Okay. Is it here? So we need four precious stones. Jewel the color of earth. So that's the only one that can be found on us. The one that is buried beneath the unsociable hand. One is beneath the, beneath the red X, and one is located behind the hallway behind Mary Antoinette. Bloom. Let's try this. I wonder if this is the unsociable. Hmm, guess not. Empty wiring can. Okay. The wire clicked in the bottom of the pot. Whoopsie dazzle. Astrology and life, number two. There are four symbols in the middle of the ring. Starting from the top is a clockwise direction. The alchemic symbols for the four elements of earth, air, fire, and water can be found. Earth, air, fire, and water. These are the four essential pillars of the physical world. And these relate to the gems where we gotta put them. Despite possessing all this, the Wheel of Fortune still stands as an icon for unpredictable change, a nod to the fickle waves of destiny. All is up in the air when the wheel turns. Hi. Graves, morals, reputation, brother, me, hand. Dig it up. Do we do we dare reach out? Give me your hand. I think we need a flower to put on there. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Can we do something about this? No, maybe not yet. Hey, hopscotch. It looks kind of the same. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Construction notes. Nursing home operations are halted as today. This is the same from before. Hands. Wouldn't it be the hand that's like out there like reaching out us for the grave? When this one was the left hand. Think of this patch of dirt. Blue gem. And the puddle and red paint was left. It's never one down. Find a green jewel behind the painting. Now we just need to find the red X. Okay. Record player turn and rolling sound. Doc? Oh, one of the little piglets are down here. I kind of see your tail. Yeah, it's right there. Well, that's not fair. I wasn't ready. Big bad wolf. 
He pounded as he screamed out and angrily ran away. Has everyone been caught? This isn't fair. Our turn to be it then. Harry and Hyde will count to a hundred. A red crayon has been dropped on the floor. Yeah. Bucks. Goat. Bull. Dog. Now what? So... Let's see. Dog. Bull. Bucks. Chicken. Snake. Bull. Bucks. Goat. Dog. Deer blood was for the hunter. Goat. And dog. It should be... Let's see who they're on. Once a hunter. This is deer right here. For sure. There's a fox. There's a wolf. I'm puzzled in this. The books themselves didn't really mention anything about what those would eat. The boy who cried wolf, the fox, and the hens. So, chicken. Snake, chicken. So, this goes to the fox. So who would, which one would be the wolf? Bull. Bucks. Goat. Maybe this would be the wolf, because the boy who cried wolf, he was a shepherd. So they'd be targeting goats. I'd imagine. Puzzles aren't that bad in this game, actually. They're, they're some of the better ones, I believe. As far as logic flow. Uh, I played an RPG Maker game. Good. Yes. The blue bird at leg was placed on a dinner plate. We're collecting bird parts. <laughs> what the... When I to open the door, so thing was pressing down on it. It's weird, man. Weird. Okay, uh, we're done here for now. We'll be back. Okay, let's see if this works. The warning can, yes. Warning can was filled with water. No, it didn't. So let's go around. Hold up. Go over here. We need to go to the flowers. So we'll take a little shortcut. And by shortcut, I mean it's the exact same way as the other way. Hi. How you doing? I know I'm beautiful. Want it? Yeah, yeah. A flower bud blossom as soon as water hit. Blue blossom rosebud. Rosebud. Take this back. Okay. Put this here. Put the rose here, yes. Seems like the flies went over to here. I mean, this is free now. White flowers. Can't shiver that. 
Pick up this patch of dirt? Yes. Red gem. Okay, we got them all. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> And we just put the jams in. Earth, wind, fire, heed my call. The four boards loosened. Back of the teddy bear. The cradle teddy bear, no mouth, and they must scream. There was no lock in the wooden box, but it couldn't be opened. What do I. What do I do? Do I do something with this? Do I cut you open? Do I draw it on you? Hmm. We'll come back to you, mysterious teddy bear. The flower is here. Thank you. A beak. I think we are using these for the teddy bear. We probably just need the beak first. Did you really just do that just to screw with me? Come on, buddy. We're gonna make this bear cosplay as a bird. Now what? Back of the teddy bear. There's missing a leg. Here we go. Missing a hand. A wing. Beautiful. Key made of metal. Iron key. That goes into that one gate we saw earlier. So we gotta go all the way back to the basement once again. <laughs> oh no. That's what they call it the hell room. Thanks for coming over. Get out. Okay, now we can finally open this up. Process gap. It's a very long gap. It's a little, it's a little too deep. Whoops. What he does? Why he doesn't? He understand that I would not become a bird, even if he plucked my arms and legs to install wings in their places. Oh, the teddy bear. Hi. Are you symbolic? You again. Why are you still here? His voice sounds so tired. His gaze flipped away as soon as he looked in this direction, as if there was nothing in his line of vision. His bloodshot eyes stared blankly into thin air in front of him, as Elizabeth had dodged aside just prior to being bumped into. He suddenly looked over. Right. Have you seen a young lady nearby? About this height. He drew a line of the side of his palm. There you go again. She was kidnapped here. She's such a good girl that she would have never run off by herself. So she must have been kidnapped here. Have you seen her? No? Alright, then stay here and don't wander off. Goodbye. A dead burn. No mouth missing a single wing and leg. They traveled to heaven and finally caught a blue jay, but the blue jay turned red on the way home. Weird. So we sent it, well, descend into hell. Now we're gonna ascend into heaven. Symbolically. Also known as metaphorically.
Something's wrong. And that wrong is this door. There's many doors, Eddie boy. I'm walking down the hallway. Red. Smelling a child. Praying. Leaning over a child. These are religious symbols. Record player turn of a rolling sound. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Nope. Nah. No thanks. See you later. Sure thing. Okay. Great. <laughs> Let's try going reverse. I am not sure if we're accomplishing anything. If we are, just keep going. It's a fake loop. Like, it's programmed to look like a loop, but it's not really a loop. You just gotta keep walking forward. <laughs> Imagine. Ah. Bluebird. Blue fur fell into the floor. I keep thinking like Mario when you find the feather in some of the games and it takes you to like another world or something. Like, what? Oh! Margaret, listen to me carefully. Whatever must come, comes at the appointed time. You are now set on an evil course. Your white hands will work no more. In order to lead a life of pleasure, you will relinquish every duty and every virtue. Gold shame now crushes you. Remorse dogs your footsteps. But the hour will strike at last. Die, and if God forgives you, may you be cursed in this world. Fast. There seem to be noises outside. Calm down. It's the beginning of the game. <laughs> 